Hi, welcome to Math So in this video we are going to plot y equal to uh, 10 of x plus pi over 2 and y equal to 2 10 2 x minus pi over 2 and you can see that the first graph we are just changing the phase from the parent graph and the second one we are changing both period and the phase even though you can see uh, there are uh, two sitting before 10 that two doesn't have any influence as you know that the amplitude for the the graph in 10 is 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 sense uh, no sense of t uh, doing that because we are going uh, undefined when it's going too close to the um, vertical asymptote and uh, if you remember correctly then when we explain that uh, y equal to uh, 10x the parent graph y equal to 10x uh, if I write down y equal to 10x which was uh, basically from um, sine over cos and at 0 degree and if you look at the x and y and if I try to draw x uh, 10x graph you know that it is giving us a vertical asymptote as um, at pi over 2 point position okay that's the vertical asymptote for 10x and uh, again it is minus uh, pi over 2 is giving the uh, vertical asymptote another uh, vertical asymptote for 10x right uh, and then what is the and at 10 0 it is 0 so the graph is passing to that point and it is going like that you know it's going like that right and then it's going to be just close to infinity after when it's reaching close to that point right and then same way it's coming like that and then it's going to be infinity when it's coming to that point now that is for 10x I'm just drawing with the uh, black color so you can easily distinguish that's our parent graph now if we do 10 of x plus pi over 2 what is going to happen here our amplitude, uh, our amplitude again we are not talking about the amplitude and the period is twice uh, uh, here is the same so period is same what is the period for the graph in both cases our period will be pi and then what is our phase shift so if you do phase shift I'm just writing phase shift phase shift okay it would be x plus pi over 2 is 0 and if you just do that calculation it would be x equal to minus pi over 2 so basically your graph is shifting by minus pi over 2 it means it is starting from that point instead of 0 it was 0 right so instead of 0 it's starting from minus pi over 2 as you can see here now our period is same pi so if it is starting from here where is our vertical asymptote you know that this gap is pi over 2 so that here it would be an one vertical asymptote okay and then another one will be here which is a negative direction right so which is here so it is another uh, vertical asymptote here All right so basically you can see that the graph is starting from here and going up like that so it's, 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 it will follow the same trend and then again it's coming down to and then coming like that so it's going to be in, in, un, undefined when it's coming too close to the um, asymptotes so it's basically just shifting left right uh, but the period is same if you come back here it's basically minus pi so if you see this is minus pi this is 0 so from here to here it's a, again it's a pi is the period and next one if you do you it will be asymptote here and it will be start passing to this point and be asymptote here okay so you can continue you can just copy the uh, that graph uh, but make sure the period is always be pi okay now look at the the second uh, function what is given y equal to 2 10 2 x minus 5 as I said even though we can see the uh, amplitude is 2 but it's it's a useless to talk about the amplitude in tan graph uh, so you can just talk about the period here so if I do period what is the period for this one um, it is you can see we have a 2 before x and that would be just pi over 2 so pi is our original the parent graph the period is pi and that the b is just coefficient of x is just as a division so it's a pi over 2 would be the period okay then how about the phase shift so again I'm doing phase shift calculation right so phase shift will be um, 2x minus pi over 2 which is equal to 0 and then if you do the calculation uh, it would be 
2x equal to pi over 2 and I can just write down x equal to pi over 4 that is our phase shift x equal to pi over 4 our phase shift okay so if you know that phase shift is pi over 2 why not just considering each grid is pi over 4 and then like each one so here we are doing like uh, let's say the, our first grid is pi over 4 okay then second one again another pi over 4 which is giving us pi over 2 right 2 times pi over 4 same way if you go here minus pi over 4 and then minus pi over 2 here now uh, as we know the the period will be pi over 2 and the the instead of starting the graph from 0 point this is our uh, y axis and this is our x axis right so instead of starting from 0 it will start from pi over 4 as the graph moves towards pi over 4 so this will be our starting point basically you know the graph is um, starting point here right so it is basically the starting point our new y axis when we are talking about the phase shift basically it's our new y axis so the graph will be start here and then if uh, and the trend is same so it will go and increase and go undefined and then it's coming down and coming to undefined so then what would be your asymptote if you look at carefully our period is pi over 2 it means it can go from 0 to pi over 2 it gives the whole circle a complete circle it will be completed from 0 to pi over 2 if go from 0 to pi over 2 it will be pi over 2 is the period so if I try to use the like let's say I'm using the another uh, just uh, different color just red color just to make sure that asymptote we have here with the different colors so this is our vertical asymptote okay and the same here it will be our vertical asymptote and if you look at now the difference between these two vertical asymptote it is basically pi over 2 because 0 to pi over 2 and that is our period and within that period we will plot our graph and that you know that the graph will passing here then it will be just going like that right and same way it will be coming and then coming to undefined when it's coming close to the asymptote so the graph the starting point from pi over 2 that's what happening and if you uh, do another copy of it just make sure that you are maintaining the period pi over 2 that's it okay thanks for watching if you'd like to see more up-to-date videos please subscribe my channel